Welcome to Maynardville Public Library. I'm Ms. Shante, and I'm going to be reading to you today, and we're going to be reading The Redneck, Night Before Christmas. And it's wrote up by E.J. Sullivan, and it's drawn by Ernie Eldridge. I hope you enjoy it. The Redneck, Night Before Christmas by E.J. Sullivan. It was the night before Christmas when all through the trailer park, not a pop top was popping, not even old blue was a barking. Our stockings were hung over the space heater with care in hopes that Sammy would fill them with vineys and burr. The kids were asleep in their NASCAR PJs, dreaming of goo goo clusters and moon pies and RCs. And Erlene in her curlers and me in my John Deere cap had just settled into our lazy boys for Wheel of Fortune and a nap. When out in the vacant lot I heard some commotion, I thought it was our neighbor Clyde finally got his T-bird in motion. I heaved out of my recliner and into the window I flew and busted out the screen and hollered for old blue. There's blue. The moon was a shining down in my old wrecked cars. So bright they sparkled like rusty old stars. And I didn't believe my own hard working eyes when the jacked up Ford pickup come flying through the sky. Faster, old Ironhead, his possum they came, and he whooped and he hollered, and he called them by name. Giddy up sooner, hey Duke, move your tail, yeller and spud. On Blackie, on Queenie, you mind me, Duchess and Bud. To the top of the satellite dish, to the top of the shed, now move it, step on it, y'all get out the lead. There's Saney. He has his reindeers in the back. Nope, that's Sax. What's driving his sleigh? <gasps> it's possums! You know how on the road when the car goes by, there's all that dirt flies up into the sky. That's how this crew went straight on up to my roof with a Pick up full of toys and a real nice gun rack and a redneck Santa too. Then before I could pop my teeth in, I heard on the tin the scrubbing around of them flying possums of his. I yanked my head back into the trailer and hitched up my shorts. Down the stove vent, Redneck Santa came with a grunt and a snort. And he was dressed in red and green camo from his neck to his feet. And I had to give him credit, he still had most his teeth. Looked like stuff from Earlene's yard sale slung on his back. There was a fly swatter and Tupperware and an eight track sticking out of his pack. His eyes took in our humble home, the furniture we'd bought on layaway in town, Earlene's pride, that Elvis on velvet, my collection of bob wire and license plates made by my relatives. I could have sworn I even saw a glistening tear when his eyes fell on my sweet Earlene a snoring in her chair. There's Erlene. He kindly favored Hank Jr. with his big round belly that shook when he laughed like a blob of jelly. Yeah, he was fat all right. Blocked out our whole large screen TV. And I had to laugh when I saw him because he looked just like me. He's Bubba. Then he winked his eye, I 
Russell knew for sure he'd treat us right. Why, he might even leave us some ammo tonight. I stood there dreaming of Whitetail while I watched him work and he stopped and like a man, he gave out a fart and a burp. burp. He toppled off our stockings with moon pies and bottled rockets and then scooched up that stove vent like spam in our pocket. And he jumped in his pickup and laid down the horn. I'm not lying. They took off like white lightning with their possum tails a flying. But I heard him holler as he headed for 7 Eleven. Merry Christmas to all, and may all rednecks go to heaven. And there's the possum that drove his sleigh. Thank you for listening today. I hope you enjoyed our story, The Redneck Night Before Christmas. Tune in next time.